Vikings fans, they ended up uh, getting the victory today. But does that victory by the Purple today, beating Carolina in overtime 34-28, to 28, does that actually feel like a win to everybody? I'm sure for a lot of people it does. For a lot of people, I'm sure it does. But I live over here in the realistic realm where I don't fall for the false purple hope and the false purple positivity that is going to be spread like wildfire after that game today. Because seriously, that is what that game today was. That was saving Mike Zimmer so he can see another week here and then all I can hear, I can just hear it now. Whoa, the Vikings, they moved to three and three. So they're at 500 and then they got a bye week so they can rest and recuperate and celebrate that victory today. And then they got the Dallas Cowboys just coming on, riding on their horses right into town, into the bird graveyard for a Halloween game. It's going to be prime time. And then we can just lasso those Cowboys and then we're going to be four and three. And then we're just going to ride off into the Super Bowl. Yeehaw! I can hear it now. Don't fall for it, people. Don't fall for it. I'm telling you, come back over here. Come back over. If you're not hanging out in the realistic realm, come on over here. We look at the forest through the trees here, people. That game, that game today was, this is what I thought all game today. And thank you so much for those of you that joined the stream today. I streamed the game. It was very fun. I am planning on doing that for every game in the future. So come on through. But I kept saying today that that game, that game was not entertaining until up until the fourth quarter. We had to wait. We had to just wait. We had to grit tooth and nail before we finally got some excitement there. And I will say it did, you know, pay off there because we got into overtime. But that whole entire game, it was like the Vikings and the Panthers are like pretty much like twins. You know, maybe more fraternal twins than, you know, identical twins. But it was like, Oh, okay, so the Vikings or the Panthers were up and they're like, no, actually, we couldn't possibly win this game today. We Vikings, we want you to win it. And then the Vikings, oh my gosh, oh, that is just so kind, but we couldn't possibly win this game today. We Carolina, we want you to win this game. And Carol, are you sure? I mean, you guys, Vikings, you you want us to win? Oh, I mean, you're too kind. So in that case, we don't want to win. Actually, you guys win. Seriously. It was like, and somebody in the stream equated that game today and these two teams as like the Spider-Man meme where it's like, you, you know, the, the Spider-Man sees himself in the mirror. That's exactly what this game was today. And it's like, seriously. And okay, this team, they're three and three. They barely just beat the Carolina Panthers after letting Carolina come back and tie it up, complete the two point conversion here. And then we had Greg Joseph missing another field goal. It was so much slop today on the Vikings and on the Panthers and like the Panthers barely could complete a pass today. And they ended up coming back and tying this game up at one point in time. The Panthers were down by 11 points with less than like five minutes to go. Again, I know the Vikings technically won the game, but seriously, all this does is continue to provide this false hope that this team is actually going to go somewhere this year. It is not. It is not. I, I am not impressed by that win today whatsoever. Sure, there was little glistening, little sprinkles, you know, of good things like Adam Thielen, you know, Justin Jefferson, you know, Dalvin Cook, um, I believe got a touchdown there. And like KJ Osborne at the end. KJ Osborne is a very good player. But I mean, it was so sloppy. I, I kept saying too during the stream, can you imagine the Vikings playing like that versus like the Evil to the East, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, the LA Rams, like the Buffalo Bills? No, it, it's just, I am not impressed by that. And, you know, the Vikings, the teams that they have beat, the Panthers are the only one with now a record of 500 because the, the Vikings beat the Panthers today. Okay, the Panthers are now 3-3 three and three. after that. I guess coming into this game, they were 3-2, and two, so they were above 500. But the Vikings barely beat the Lions by two points, and the Lions are 0-6. And, and then the Vikings' third that were first victory were versus the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks are two and three. So what what have they done? Oh yay! Let's all celebrate. We're really going all the way now. No, they're not. No, they're not. This team has a lot of good players, but they are just not vibing together. 
at all. And how many games was it, or how many, yeah, how many games, or how many, like, second half quarters did we have to go, go and suffer through before Pizza Boy threw a touchdown pass? I mean, you guys, come on. I mean, can we really sit here and say, after watching the Vikings battling back when they had every opportunity early on to put the dagger in, and they don't do it. They had time early on when they were up like 12 to 7. I think it was, yeah, like 12 to 7. And you're doing a run on a third and long. You have so much time. Throw the ball. They always do this. And then at the very, very end, then they all of a sudden light a fire under, under their ass. Like people, I am so sick of this. I am so sick of this. I am not believing this. And everybody... I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people, like Purple Positivity Nation, they're going to be mad at me. They're going to be like, Jade, you need to be more positive. You need to be, anything can happen. I'm looking at the forest through the trees here, people. This team, I predicted a season of 7-10 and 10 back in May. And after this game today, the rest of the schedule, again, of course, anything can happen every any given Sunday, but... They got Dallas coming to town next week. I know Dallas right now, or when I started this, they were down versus New England. Like, I think it was 14 to 7. But Dallas is 4 and 1. So, if anything, they're either going to be 5 and 1 or they're going to be 4 and 2. And part of me thinks that if Dallas ends up losing this game today, they're going to come to the Bird Graveyard and they're going to want to lasso us. Okay? So, that's what's going to happen. And then, I mean, I don't know, but I can see it. And then the Vikings are at the Ravens. The Ravens just won today. I forget who they were playing. Um, I think it was the LA Chargers. They just dominated them. Because that's what actual winning teams do. They win by a huge margin. They don't let teams come back and almost steal the game away. It was like both the Vikings and the Panthers were equally trying to give that game away today. And then the Vikings just happened to luck out and win. It's just pathetic. The vanilla Vikings, the pathetic purple, were at it again. I am not impressed with that at all. I want the best for this team and I am not seeing that with what is going on. Zimmer, Pizza Boy, Spielman, they all need to go. They all need to go. I like Zimmer the best out of all of them, but it's like, dude, enough is enough here. How many chances do you get? I am so sick of this team being, you know, eight and eight or eight and nine, whatever it's going to be. And just like, oh, maybe making the playoffs and not doing anything, but that's just still saving people's jobs for another year. I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. I want this team to actually do something. I'm sick of them being mediocre and average. Like they are the purple carrot danglers. That is what they do best. And I'm not, I'm not going after it. If you guys want to chase after that thing, by all means, chase after it until you get winded. I want to sit, sorry, I feel like I'm spitting all over where, everywhere I'm getting heated over here. I want to just sit back here and watch it all play out. You're three and three. You're three and three. Okay, and now you have the bye. Okay, good, great, rest up, and hopefully come back with that much vigor on Halloween and get the win, and then, and then maybe move to four and two, and then, and then you got some people that can actually play, and then we'll see what happens from there. But again, I'm not impressed you beat Seattle. They're two and three right now. They could move to two and four this evening or three and three. Okay, barely any good. You barely beat the Lions by two. They're 0 and six. And then you beat Carolina today, which you guys were both trying to give each other the game. So, color me not impressed by that at all. Um, it was um, it was a, a very very questionable victory. And um, shout out to um, Ryan who said that on the on the chat today on the live stream. And I feel like it's very, very fitting. Questionable victory. I might title this video Questionable Victory. And it's just, I don't, I don't know why I'm just, I'm so wound up by that. It's just, and it just, it does pain me. I don't like to cheer for my team to lose, but that is the catalyst that this organization needs to see some real change. Otherwise, it's just going to be the same old song and dance again. And of, you know, eight and eight, eight and nine. Oh, well, there's always next year. I'm sick of saying that. I'm sick of that. I mean, I don't really say it, but that's always the MO. I want it to be with the Vikings. This is our year. Like, this is legit our year. And they never, they never, they never are able to do that. Or at least they haven't been, you know, in the last three years. And, um, you know, especially the, since the Keenum curse, too. Since uh, Pizza Boy came on this team, he was the only missing piece. Only missing piece. And then only a year later, we got to build the whole team around this cat. 
and then they decide to extend them again and I could go on and on, but I'm not impressed by that victory today. Okay, great. Now you're going to provide purple hope and purple um, false positivity and saying that this team is actually going to get to the big one, but I'll believe it when I see it. I want to see some receipts, but I will say again, 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 that game was entertaining. That's all I want, but we had to wait. We really had to wait, but we made it there. So I just want to thank everybody too for hopping on the stream. It was really fun. Um, and yeah, I'm planning on doing all of them live here in the future. So the Vikings, they are now three and three. Way to go. You made it to 500. Okay. So again, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, pretty much Shania Twaining over here. That don't impress me much. So moving forward, we'll see what happens. But bye week coming up and then uh, Dallas Cowboys for a Monday. Yeah, Monday night game. I believe Halloween's a Monday, right? Or a Sunday. Is it a Sunday or a Monday? Can't remember now. But anyway, we'll make it there, I think, or whatever. So I'm just blathering away now, you guys. So let me know what you think of that. And um, you guys always do. So I, I'm interested to hear what everybody thinks after that game today and um, just what you guys think, what everybody around here and all the fans are thinking. I'm sure it's going to be, I don't know. I don't know. I'm anxious to hear it, though. You guys let me know what you think. And, um, yeah, thanks for joining me here. And I will catch you on the flip side. I definitely will check in before um, the bye week for sure. Full show. But um, until next time, people, have a great rest of your Sunday, fun day, and um, a great upcoming week ahead. And happy full moon. We got a full moon on Wednesday. So cheers to the full moon. All right, everybody, take care. I'll check you later. Mar, P.S. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Did you watch that game today? Were you able to watch that game? Oh, my gosh. Wild one at the end, wasn't it? I'm sure Kitty, if she was listening, heard anything out there, she's probably like, what is going on? Tell her I say hi and hi to you too. Miss you both. Take care. Bye, everybody.